the star of the show is going to be my Ashai, I think is how it's pronounced, uh, stubby windscreen. I still haven't gotten my uh, second GV set from Italy, so man, shame on you guys, Italy. You guys, I gotta say, you suck with your shipping. That just is terrible. It's already been three weeks again, and I still haven't gotten it. I got my stuff from Japan in four days. Crazy. And by my math, I think Japan is further than Italy, so what's the hold up there, folks? Anyway. This is a stubby screen that might do okay. Uh, it has the little uh, mounting ears that plug in uh, over here in the uh, original signal, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the mirror mounts. So I'm thinking it's gonna be something along those lines right there. It's a little short. I would prefer it be about three or four inches taller, but we'll see how that goes. I think it's gonna look okay. We'll find out in just a minute. I'm gonna bolt that guy up because that should be a very quick little change. And if it doesn't work uh, for me or doesn't add enough uh, deflection, uh, then I've got that second GV screen coming sometime, eventually. Maybe next year at this rate. Okay, so here we go on the uh, little uh, windscreen. I will link that name. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I think it's a shy or something like that. Anyway, it's Japanese. Um, I don't speak Japanese. I don't read Japanese. But I can figure out technical diagrams when I look at them. Not too terribly difficult. They don't list any torque specs or anything that I can understand in uh, a Western alphabet. So I'm just gonna do what I know. Uh, one thing I will give them, Honda, or uh, sorry, Japan wins again over uh, Italy. <laughs> They included every single piece that shows up on the parts list. <laughs> no missing parts, thanks to inspector number 70 or whoever his name was. Jerk off. Anyway. <laughs> hey, oh, don't blow away. Uh, so, yeah, I ver hey, hey, come here. I verified, it's windy out here today. Uh, I verified that every single part is there. Uh, I've already paired up the, uh, the windshield uh, mounting bung and... Uh, uh, washer and a uh, little rubber insulator. Four, four, and f or, yeah, yeah, four, four, and four. We've got a full set of each uh, for every hole in that windscreen, which is uh, already winning over the GV. So the other piece that's uh, not directly related to this windshield kit uh, are these uh, screw plugs. Uh, one of my viewers, uh, commenters, turned me on to these a uh, couple months ago, and that was a fantastic idea. Thank you so much. Uh, I will leave your name... Uh, in the comments below. I can't remember the, the name of the viewer. Anyway, uh, I picked these up off of eBay, uh, same place where he said he got his, uh, and they're just uh, machined aluminum screws that fill those uh, holes. They're great. Uh, they're not terribly long, but I think they'll be long enough for this. Um, so for the left one, I'm not sure if I'll reuse it. I might use that big guy uh, and then, or you know, omit it completely and use the, the ram mount instead. But for this one, I'm definitely going to use that uh, to hold down the uh, windshield bracket. So it should be a pretty clean look up here, not too tall of a windscreen, uh, and I'll have my phone mount. Uh, the only thing I don't know about that uh, tall standoff there is... Uh, it might lift the phone up too high to where the phone is, you know, way past the top of the windscreen and that might look goofy. So just having the ball uh, right here off of this directly uh, will keep the phone a little bit lower. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's a work in progress. So let me get prepped up, uh, get my tools out, and I'll start this. Oh. We have instructions in Japanese in uh, Kenji or one of those character sets, I don't know. So we got all the parts, I verified the parts list. We're good there. Now we're gonna go here. It says to do the uh, mirror adapter mounts and it shows the, uh, the windshield mounting plates on the top of that. So that's the only reason that I might wanna use the, these little adapters is uh, it's showing the plate on top of those. So it needs some elevation. So that tells me that I do need to use those guys. 
Uh, yeah, so they've got them as a standoff, lifting that up. The uh, the critical parts are how to mount the pieces here, five, six, seven, which gives us five is the bolt, six is, yeah, good luck. I believe that's the rubber, or, um, that's the metal, this is gonna be the rubber, because uh, it's gonna be facing against the plastic. So, and then the bung is on the other side, you know, squish up bung for tension. Uh, we've got, Five, six, seven. They go through the screen. The bungs are on the back side. Yep. Uh, they actually. It looks like the bungs insert into here, uh, and then they compress to hold into the metal frame, which is smart. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kind of pre-assemble that thing, and then I'll uh, leave it loose to where it has a, enough room you know, slack to fit it, and uh, I'll go ahead and drop these. Uh, spacer posts into the uh, OEM screw holes. So, here we go. So if we're to believe spatial orientation, that's not it. Spatial orientation kind of sort of like that. Kind of looks like that might be the guy going this way. Let's see if it works. Does the picture tell the truth? So, what do we got? Get that on there. And we're gonna do that this way. Just lightly snug it for a second and then we'll start cinching it once it gets uh, into the, the metal bracket so I'll leave all the links for this products uh, in the video description uh, this is the Ashai I think is how it's pronounced uh, stubby windscreen I wasn't gonna get it but I was getting other stuff uh, from we bike anyway and when you're paying international shipping that's 40 or 50 or 60 bucks or whatever you might as well just get everything that you want to get in one shot so where was I this way This way, this way, this way, this way, aha, that way. Okay, so if we are to believe the pictures, that's kind of how it's gonna sit. Looks good to me. I'm not gonna call him a liar yet. Where we go? Get on there. Okay, slides on. Looks like that's about the right spacing and the right, uh, Orientation. We'll figure out if I got it right. Can only go one of two other combinations, but we'll see. Uh, these little guys are a three millimeter. Uh, so the exercise here is to just tighten this up loosely. Uh, everything is just kind of, you know, uh, finger tight at this point. And I'm trying to cinch everything down and get it centered. Now, if we notice, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's shifted a little that way. It's not quite following the center line of the curves here. That would be about center. But what I'm noticing is this uh, spacing over here is a lot more gapped than that side. So as we tighten these up, the exercise uh, is not to go super tight. You don't want to go balls out nuts on these uh, because then you end up cracking your screen or doing something silly, uh, which would not... Uh, be a good day. Yeah, okay, so it's still not quite seating in there. I think that bracket might be bent a little funky. So I'm going to preload that guy and try to tighten it up. Don't make me angry and don't blow away. Rawr. Good old Houston weather. If you don't like it, wait a minute, it's going to change. And if you do like it, wait a minute, it's gonna change. So let's get back to where we were, kind of roughly preloading these uh, bungs, getting about even threading all the way around. It's close, close, close. There we go. Oh, there's still spaced right there. I don't know what that's all about. This isn't tight, so it has room to flex. Yeah, I don't know, sort it out. And in all the crap that I've got in my garage, I could not find a shorter uh, 
10 by 1.25 Allen bolt for my uh, ball mount. I'll have to sort that out later. Won't be that big a deal, but unfortunately I will have to pull all this back apart at some point. Uh, once I get all this set, then it shouldn't be a big deal, but I gotta pull all this apart so I can route a USB cable up through here following the factory harness and get into the, uh, the housing to come out right there uh, so I can zip tie it and uh, have it for my uh, phone charging. So that will be a subsequent project. Yeah, just go a few turns at a time on these until uh, they all end up about the same. Getting tighter. But I need to work on the uh, alignment issue first before I get them too tight. Yeah, it's already better. Not great, but it's better. See, that would be center right there, but I'm having to put quite a bit of torque on that to get it this way. Hmm. Wonder if I if I push now if I push that in it gets shorter on that side if I push this side in so it kind of goes that way pulling ah pulling okay so I need to pull this side out tighten it and then tighten that one so that's what we're gonna do I think their brackets might be a little goofy so hold the wheel with my leg force this guy a little forward and over and try to give her a crank crank and not mar up the finish too much. Hopefully that holds. If not, I'm going to have to figure out a different bolt, like a, a good Allen bolt and maybe a star washer under that guy. So yeah, see, we're still way off. It's not center and that will just trip my OCD into overdrive. You know, it could be something with this mount is not spaced correctly, and that's why it's off-center here. So that might not be fixable, at least not without loosening that. We'll see. That goes, yeah. Well, let's just tighten it up, see what we can get. Okay, so it's not centered, and that's going to peeve me to no end, but it looks pretty good. It's very small. Uh, I think it's probably just gonna barely break up uh, wind flow on the chest a little bit. Uh, and I'll be honest, it's more of an aesthetics touch than a functional touch. But until I get my other GV screen from Italy, uh, I think they're off having a latte somewhere and they just haven't bothered to ship my package. Um, when I get the GV in, I'll swap this out and put the GV on there and we'll do a, a kind of a, a back and forth comparison and see how that looks. Uh, I will do a ride report on this and uh, kind of see how it feels. Uh, what I'm interested in is the, the wind deflection. It has a, a compound curve to it here uh, to where it, it flips upward. So I'm wondering if it's going to deflect enough of the air kind of face shield high or if it's going to end up right at the chin or where the, the flow is going to go. Uh, so we'll see. Um, Another commenter uh, on the previous video, on the GV video, uh, mentioned that it needs some kind of a gasket right here. Not really. Uh, and when you do that, you end up with a low pressure area behind here that causes more buffeting than you want. Usually it's a good idea to have just a little bit of airflow coming uh, behind the windscreen uh, to kind of null out the low pressure area right here. Um, I'll show a good uh, video one of these days of my uh, GV Airflow that I have on my Silverwing. That thing is fantastic. It's actually two screens in one. You've got a base screen that's mounted flush, and then there's another screen that goes outside of it uh, that's the adjustable part that goes up and down. And the, the two layers uh, of screen allow for a softening of the uh, low pressure area right here, and it really, really reduces the turbulence. It's surprising how well it does. Uh, so. That's why they have this uh, the spacers here, not only to get over the master cylinder, but probably just for uh, airflow uh, management to kind of keep it from being real buffety right here. So anyway, I'll do a ride review this afternoon, and we'll see how that plays, and uh, see where we go.